Welcome, 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 welcome. Let's do my little Cancerians. Let's do my little Cancerians. Raw love, okay? Now until, um, it, just the first half of January, okay? The first half of January. You lose by the moon and it's in your cycle, okay? If for some reason you're relating to colors, yellow, orange, and indigo are definitely your colors right now, okay? So... I don't, I don't know why I'm pulled to, to talk about colors the first half of the month. It, it's just a thing, okay? Um, I know we're coming into Capricorn, so I, I really feel like you might be resonating, too, with, um, like, blue, blue, green, indigos, violets, grays, that type of stuff, okay? You guys are definitely connected. I didn't do Cappy yet. Um, it's ruled by Saturn, so some type of lesson, I'm sure what's not a lesson guys um but this is obviously going to resonate with everybody because this is the energy that we're in and it really wants to stress i believe this one and this one all right the king of pens and the nine of pens so that's solid so i guess we'll see okay and i love this song that's on trumpets in my head trumpets in my head so there's that. Just saw the Six of Cups sitting there, but it was screaming. It was looking right at, you know, you might be dealing with a Cancer, Virgo. No, actually. Well, you're dealing with every propensity, but I think you're dealing with either um, a strong, anything with an S. Um, so, Scorp, Sag, Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Taurus. Don't ask me why that just came to me, but let's find out what's going on, all right? My little Constantians, my little Krabby Patties, my little Krabbies. Um, you're resonating with threes, and it, it's actually, if you're seeing stars, okay, what you would see is two, you, you would see like this. I will show you. Okay. It would look like this, all right? It would be like... Ooh, my address is on that. But it would look like that. Okay, that's how you would see it. Almost like, almost that without the smiley face, if that makes sense, okay? So there's that. Somebody, this song is huge for somebody. You think I'm better now that I'm not around? I don't know what that's all about, but, um, Kansas, let's see. This is, this is a, a new, um, apprenticeship. This is, this is how I'm looking at this, whether somebody wants to work together with you or not. I am looking at it like that, okay? See, a, a new start, you know, it's a, holy money, my little Kansarians. Um, ooh, wish is coming true. Ooh, with a star. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's temperance. You got the tower reversed. There's that scorp. There's that scorp. The king of cups. The eight of cups. Okay, really, 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 really. I gotta do some math real quick. Um. Oh, you got, holy shit, you got lots of, um, you probably have been seeing a lot of ones too, like one, 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 which would be that star, 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 groups of threes. Um, but hold on. Oh, damn it, another one. You're about to have a new start, but it's gonna be there's gonna be some conflict, okay? Um, I, I really feel like something oh, let me kinda something ended. It's not quite done though. Yeah, that conflict's gonna come first. Okay. Um so there's that. 
Um, so I don't know if that person who walked away plans on coming back around. Tell me about this King of Cups. Uh, you know, you got um, something bound to come back around. I'm working until late. All right, I love you. Have a good day. Um, the love of my life. Somebody loves, but to me, somebody is focused on not love. I think they took that conflict and they put it in the freaking trash compactor. I don't know if it, something was seized too. Another letter came through from my Aries. I don't remember which it was. I, I think it was C's, actually. I don't know what that's all about. That's a new thing for me. Um, you, either you, I, I think it's you, um, awfully crabby, ungrateful for something. Can't Cancerians are usually not ungrateful, so I'm not really sure what happened in the past. But regardless, you're not dealing with the past right now. Right now, you're in a current situation working towards something. I don't think you're trying to avoid... I don't think you're trying to avoid anything necessarily. I think this tower already happened and brought in that new start. Um... And then with temperance here, this is, see, this can be a reconciliation. This could be balance. This is balance. Like, so it makes me think you're going to have to balance some type of love. Tell me about temperance. Because <clears throat> I don't see any love on my board right now. All right. So you got somebody watching you or stalking you. I don't know what that's all about. Someone's watching you at work. Um, but if you look at these two cards, you know, he, he, he's kind of grumpy and, he, and, and he's kind of grumpy and karma is kind of saying like, isn't karma a bitch? It's, it's, it's weird how that's being presented to me right now. Um, but this is someone's watching somebody at work. This is everything in moderation. This conflict that's not on my board is coming in. There is no question. That's, that's what's coming in. You can't avoid it. So I don't know if you're trying to avoid... Con you're trying... There's no love here. Okay? I I'm sure there's love, but this is hidden. Okay? So this eight of pence, I don't even need to clarify that. That's you working hard on, on work. I don't know if there's a strong scorp involved and you're like, nah. I honestly, right now, make sure you guys watch Scorpio and Sag. Strong. You got a strong Sag placement somewhere. There's no question. It's like screaming at me. Um, and who rules, who rules, um, what is Sag? Sag is Jupiter. And you're definitely dealing on, you know, the future, the financials. So, I, when it comes to your financials, um, check your midhaven, too. Where's the love? Tell me about the scorp. I mean, wow, I said scorp. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Because I think, yeah, see, but you're coming out of it because it was reversed. You're no longer looking back, all right? And it had to do with a connection. But here's the deal, guys. It, it's still standing, but I don't think you're happy about it because now... Either you're looking or they're looking. And I think it's the other person watching you. Because now they're looking at you like, damn, those those chalices look sweet. So, oh, look at that. Two of cups, okay. So, what's happening is you're, uh, you're avoiding, I, you know, you know, I don't think you're avoiding. I think you're just, you're focused on work and, and moving forward and you were dealing with somebody who was unappreciative and greedy and you definitely went through a cycle and you closed that cycle. And I think you went through more than enough tower moments, to be honest with you. 
So again, this is for every zodiac, okay? Because it would it would make sense that you're focused hard here, especially with the full moon going into Cappy. Cappy's fine. It's all that stuff, all right? Jupiter's here too. Saturn's here. That la That's why that lesson's coming back around. Somebody didn't shut the door properly. I don't know if somebody's a, a wee bit bent out of shape now because they're like, ah, damn. Like, even the bottom of the chalice is missing, and that's not big. Like, if anything, you know, that's not even a chalice to me. That's a bell. Oh, it is a bell. Oh, here's the chalice. I was looking at this. I'm like, what is that? I'm like, wait a minute. This doesn't even look like one. Um... So somebody is like, it's like an SOS, like a foghorn, you know, like, I don't know if it's SOS to the universe. Um, tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. So this is, this is, to me, this is current. This is a current wheel. Let's see what the wheel is bringing you. To me, it's looking straight up. All right, it's bringing you money, and it's bringing you this smug person that you were dealing with. To be honest with you, and there's there's an awful lot of blue. I, I think somebody's eating a whole lot of blueberries right now, and I'm not just saying that. Like I'm talking like you're getting in your antioxidants, like you're you're pounding back vitamins. All right, you got the seven of cups, so this is options and this is karma. So you know, to me, if that's a battle, there's that conflict. The overall message is that conflict that I said that was not on my board. Oh, it is. And it's about to present itself. And you're going to have to figure out what direction you want to go in. And I will tell you where this is going to end up. So hold on. Go, you perfect. All right. So, this is my calculator. I gotta twist some numbers around. I gotta twist some numbers around. And the way I just wrote it down, it's ironic. It's 18, 17, 16, 15. So you got 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm not going to show you my other numbers because you would see how what I'm doing, and it's kind of like my little trick. But uh, that's big, five, six, seven, eight, you know, all those ones again, okay? Um, so this is getting on your path with this person. This is destiny being fulfilled. Uh, this is going to work out. If you want this to work out, it can, okay? I'll leave it at that. I will pull your lessons for 2018 when it had to do with this particular situation and guilt just wanted to pop out big time. Oh, and they're stressing it. Okay. Somebody pushing through, persevering, setting their mind to something. Um, tell me about Cancer's lessons in 2018. Remember, this is every zodiac. Courage and friendship. So there's there's that twin, there's that life partner, and, and this is confronting it and having the courage to see it through. So this was one of your lessons. So if to me, I, I don't know if this took place or not, considering I'm adding every zodiac together, I'm saying that this was already completed and it will come back around. Somebody is definitely hanging out with people they should not be hanging out with. And you know, this is hang out with people who are very like minded like you, not people who put you in certain situations, okay? Somebody does not want that change to me this it's cancer energy but this is somebody else this is strong this is strong in somebody else's chart you know you got air and you got earth is taken over here and water but it's not your water you know it, it's not cancerian water it, it's it, it's pisces water it's scorpio water this is why it's important to watch every single zodiac. I'm, I'm serious, okay? Discipline, you know, whatever you set your mind to. So, so basically, this, this, you were dealing with somebody smug. They were probably hanging out with people they shouldn't be hanging out with. Someone did not have the courage. Someone had the courage to walk away. Somebody is definitely confident because when I split the deck, it was the nine, a pence, okay? Somebody accepted the change. 
That is for sure. Somebody's disciplined right now, okay? So somebody definitely learned some lessons. If you ask me, what this is telling me is my Cancerian knew that there was this person. My Cancerian also knew that this person was hanging out with the wrong type of people that they didn't know how to, you know, muster up anything to, to even come into fruition. So to me, my, my Cancer mastered these. This is somebody else's comma. There's a lot of comma here, okay? So, my Cancerian's lessons for 2019, January 2019. Accepting the situation that, that something, you know, accepting that you obviously cannot change the past. Um, you can't change this person. I, I think you already mastered that, all right? But it's definitely coming back around. Um, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. I mean, this is huge intuition, but at the same time, they're saying you need to trust where this goes. What this is, 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 yeah, it's difficult to say the least, but, um, if you're dealing with a scorp, it's going to be extremely turbulent, okay? Um, Sag is more harmonious energy. Any of the fixed signs right now, you know, Leo's, Leo's, it would be good. You know, I'm trying to see. Aquarius, you'd be good. Taurus, you'd be good right now. Um, if you're dealing with a, a Virgo or a Scorp, it is, it's going to be tough. It's that, it's that conflict, okay? It's that, it's that Virgo and Scorp energy you're working with, guys, okay? And, uh, um, it's, it's both Mercury. They're both, well, well one's Mars, but I mean, it's that Mercury too with Virgo. I, I mean, this is, this is going to be conflict for sure, okay? Um, but they're also saying trust the situation, accept it. But to me, my Cancerians, you've already accepted this because this is legitimately, I don't think you're avoiding. I, I, I just literally think like this is your energy now and you're solid and you're good, okay? So let's see the best advice for you regarding this situation. Lots of blue. Lots of blue for you guys right now. <sighs> Who else was that blue? I think my Aries was dealing with blue too. It, it's that. It's that too. That blue, man. I mean, it's the Sag too, but like. Cappies. I think you're dealing with a long term situation. All right, best advice for my Cancerians for January, first half of January, 2019. Best advice for my Cancerians regarding this situation ship. Because right now, it doesn't look like you're with anybody. Somebody's watching. Somebody's watching. Got the line of, yeah. There, there's that conflict at the bottom of the deck as the high priestess. Have that patience. Consider carefully before you before you act. So something's coming back in. Yeah, dreams coming true. You know, concerns fade away when it comes to your love life because there is no love life right now. Not like that. Your focus is elsewhere. Be Use your intuition for sure when it comes to this, okay? But when this comes back around, it, it's going to leave you... You're just kind of like... You're, you're going to be expecting the worst. Which makes sense because it's that, that overall message I gave you was that conflict. So I would change your perspective on how you feel about this because here comes those prophecies that that you already knew were there. All right. Um, some of you are not sleeping, but I mean, that is the energy not to sleep. The only reason why you're not seeing it yet is because it hasn't presented itself, but it will be and it will be shortly within the next couple weeks. Okay, if it hasn't already. And yeah, uh, the, the conflict is, you know, I, I, right off the bat, conflict, okay? It's on you on where you want to go and how you want to handle this. Before I give you our Ganesha card, I am going to tell you last year, let's see, it says decision time. 
All right, you already know this person, so it's like, okay, here we go again. It, that, it's, that, it's that whole cycle. You've done the whole cycle already, but nothing's completed here. So Aries completed a cycle to start new, but this person is not stepped in. See what I'm saying? So each zodiac is, is going to tell you a story on where somebody is at in the present moment, okay? To me, this isn't even thoughts. My Cancerians are not even focused on it. But whomever you're dealing with most certainly is. They now realize, chances are they have blue eyes. They now realize, or it's just that blue guys, they, they now realize who you are, okay? It's funny because those, you know, they look like blueberries to me. Yeah, I could, you know, right there, see? And then I just saw blueberries, some type of berries in the cup. I don't know what that's all about. And it's not even because I was resonating with the blue, so I'm not really sure. But let's let's read your Ganesha card to kind of tell you where this journey is taking you and, and what's being presented in the next couple weeks. My Cancerians. You know, January 2019 for my Cancerians. January 2019 for my Cancerians, please. We got fulfillment at the bottom of the deck, and it's a six. Okay. Promise of the future. So. There's that eight, there's that new stat, there's that wish coming true, okay? Forget the greedy person, there's that wish coming true it talked about, okay? And the universe and spirits, whomever's working with you right now is, is promising, promising you something when it comes to this, okay? Rest assured something new is on the horizon, and right there, it's on the horizon, okay? All indications are favorable at this time for new awareness. Seek new outlets with your creative expression that heralds new beginnings, new phase in your life. Ganesha is asking you to take, to reflect on your desires and dreams at this time. You're being handed down a road to create a new endeavor. Ask Ganesha to help you uncover the desires of your subconscious mind and allow you to create nudges you feel. You may experience some type of spark that comes unexpectedly. This momentum will start you down a new path with the view of the world. Reflect on your past endeavors. Take time to acknowledge and understand your lessons and your blessings. Be grateful for the path that has led you here to this point. You are receiving the gift of freedom to choose what it is you want to do with your purpose, to create your future. There may also be an ending that taken place or that took place. All in life has been through cycles. Through experience and choices, you learn to grow. You are steadily progressing through many phases of your life. With each ending comes a promise to a new dawn. So you got a blank slate. And what this is telling me, all life all life has cycles. Through experiences and choices, you can create something new. So I told you, if you want that new with this person when it comes to love, it's yours. It's up for a taking, okay? But the, there's definitely conflict. But regardless, it, however you want to create and what you want to create, you can. That girl is on fire. All right. Or gentlemen. It doesn't even matter. But holy fulfillment. Like, hello. And it's funny. It talks about reflection. Okay. So. Don't yay and they right off the bat. I love, I love, I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye, my little contarians.